estaba yo, rodeada de mis amigos, con todo listo para vivir felices y comer perdices. Por lo menos así era como lo había imaginado. Fire and ice. This love is like fire and ice. This love is like rain and blue skies. This love is like sun on the rise. This love got me rolling the dice. Um, well, coming back to my relationship with her was absolutely wonderful. And that was probably the, the thing that made me most optimistic. Um, and I, I was a little skeptical about the business of sequels. I think everybody is, because there are some very cynical motive, you know, incentives for doing sequels. And uh, I think we all wanted to make sure that we were doing this for good reasons as well. And um, when I realized how enthusiastic Renee was, and when I saw how in what good spirits she was and in what good form she was as an actress, I found it really quite exciting and quite emotional. And in fact, that's all I needed because um, Mark Darcy exists only in relationship to Bridget, really. So there's nothing you can really decide about him or his character without having Bridget in place. He's a little bit of a kind of story device in a way. So, um, and I've, you know, enjoyed inhabiting him as best I can and creating the point of view, you know, inwardly. But actually, all these other characters are just about uh, Bridget, really. Don't let me lose. Still falling for you. Still falling for you. Bridget did all the work. Renee did all the work. I did, it, in a way, that's, that's what I, I was saying before. It's, I, I looked at the first movie. No, I, I didn't come automatically. I, I had forgotten everything uh, about playing him. Um, because my life has I've been distracted by a million other things, but it was Renee that brought it back. And I realized that actually all you have to do if you're playing Mark Darcy is, is listen to her. Beautiful mind, your heart got a story with mine. Oh, a lot of difference. One of the biggest differences actually was that I didn't really work very much with Hugh Grant. We had the fight scenes in two movies, but the rest of the time we didn't have scenes together. It was quite an interesting dynamic because um, we had the briefest of moments where two words might be exchanged or we'd be in the same room, but we were always in separate pieces of the story, except when it came to pulling each other's hair and kicking and scratching. Um, so this was very different because there is a relationship developing between me and Patrick on screen. Um, the relationship between Mark Darcy and Daniel Cleaver is rooted in the past, so they, they know each other. You don't have to see them become acquainted, but this is like almost like a kind of bromance blossoming, you know, uh, a, a, you know, a, a sort of love story of friendship between between two guys. And you can imagine that after the end of this film, that, that these two men develop a, a, a friendship. Your heart got me hurting at times. Your heart gave me new kind of highs. Your heart got me feeling so fine. Oh, goodness. I, I, well, it's impossible. And so when you, people ask questions like that, you just tend to have one that pops into your mind, not because it's your favorite scene, but because it pops into your mind. And I, this one is completely random. But I, there's a moment in this film where I'm talking to Rene and Patrick, and there's this guy who says, I'm in charge of data management from Daventry. He's the most Ir comically irrelevant character and I find him absolutely hilarious and um, so he always brings a smile to my face so falling for you so falling for you it took us a while I'm curious I don't know um, mm -hmm. I think I think I met somebody the other day who hadn't seen the others and who loved this film mm -hmm. so uh, funny is funny you know physical comedy is physical comedy and I think that probably a lot is revealed and explained. So I think the movie exists in its own right. But I think it, there's, it'll have much more comic impact and emotional impact if you have seen the first two. So it probably helps to see the first But I think it exi I think I haven't really thought very much about that because I think they go together, but I, I think it works on its own. With every breath a new day, with love on the line, we found our share of mistakes. It's a big secret and a big <laughs> mystery. 
Um, yeah, I think uh, I, I don't want to spoil that for people, you know. But it's no secret that I, I have some kind of involvement this time. <laughs> Deja que te vea bien. Oh. Ay, no, Bridget. ¿Quién es el padre? ¿Es de Mark? Hay un 50% de posibilidades. ¿Un 50%? ¿Hicisteis un trío? Oh.